Hello year one, welcome back and today we're going to be doing some science. So hopefully you will have already watched the videos on what makes a mammal a mammal and what makes a reptile a reptile. If you haven't, pause this video and go and watch the videos now. So right now you're back or you've already watched them, we're going to look at mammals and reptiles. So if you have a look on my screen, I've got lots of different animals. I wonder if you can tell me whether they are mammals or reptiles and what animal they are. Have a pause and have a chat. Right, so we have got a tiger, which is a mammal, a panda, which is a mammal, a cow, which is a mammal, and our dolphins are also mammals, which you might seem a little bit strange, but if you watch the video, it talks about how some of our marine animals, animals that live in the water, actually have hair and they still breathe water. They don't breathe underwater. We also have a bearded dragon, um, an iguana, and some other lizards, and a snake, and they are all reptiles. Now, there's a couple of things that make that let us know whether animals are mammals or reptiles. So we're going to think about these now and we're going to write them down and we're going to, so if you get your piece of paper or you might want to do this on the computer, you're going to split your page down the middle like I have. You're going to have similarities on one side, so things that are the same, and differences on the other side, things that make them different. So I've already done some myself. I've written some sentences and you can write some sentences too. So I've said that they are both alive. And one difference is that reptiles have scales as their skin and mammals have fur on their skin. And you can tell that on our last page. And it's really quite, it's quite an easy way to tell whether an animal is a mammal or a reptile. So let's write some, let's write one sentence together. So reptiles have scales and mammals have fur. I'm going to think about something else that's a bit different about them. I'm going to say that reptiles are warm, are cold-blooded and mammals are warm-blooded. So and it's good in your sentences to use the word and to link the sentence together. So reptiles, finger space, are cold-blooded and mammals make sure you spell reptiles and mammals correctly, are warm-blooded, blooded, full stop. Super. So now you can do your own sentences and show the similarities and differences between mammals and reptiles. Make sure that you write in full sentences. Don't forget your finger spaces, your full stops and your capital letters. Good luck, you one.